to access daily beauty and fashion editor Jennifer Chan is back with a look at the beauty trends that you need in your life. Good to see you. Thank you. She came in so hot last time with all this great stuff. What are we going to see in February? Okay, there's so many things to share. First of all, celebrities are back. They have celebrity makeup and skincare lines. And the thing is, we always want to look like celebrities, so that's not going away. The good news is there's a lot of products that are really, really good. So there's that. I also want to talk about innovation, sustainability. We have advancements in technology. So we're improving the products that we already know and love. Yeah. More to share on that one. And then what's old is now new again. Ooh. So Gen Z, they are out here. They are rediscovering trends that maybe you and I remember living in real time while well, they're back. And then also we want to talk about diversity and inclusion. I am so here for this. Never than ever have we seen brands founded by people of color, which means they're making products that are for people that look like them, which is fine. Finally, right. we're getting <laughs> around to it. But start with the celebrities here. Yeah, start with Ariana Grande getting in the beauty game. That's right, Ariana Grande launched her line, R-E-M, named after one of her most popular songs, at the end of last year. And these products are amazing. So you need to know they're vegan, they're cruelty-free, they're under $24, oh. and celebrities are gushing about them, and for good reason. So we have eyeshadow palettes. These are actually some of Ariana's favorite. Three colorways, really great, gorgeous payoff on the color. And then we also have an eyeliner marker, so the favorite trick. I mean, look, you got to go. When you think Ariana, you think of the eyeliner. Right. Yeah, you got to get that feline wig, that cat eye. She has an eyeliner marker that has a really beautiful fine tip. Stays all day. You're going to love it. Great. And then we have lip plumping glosses. So Ooh. these are great because they have that 90s nostalgia. So they're really high impact, high shine. And they're named really fun names like jelly sandals and scrunchies. So super cute. And then, of course, you got to get your glow on. Yep. Ariana has a interstellar highlighter named after planets like Miss Saturn and Miss Venus. And you can even actually put them on your eyelids for a little impact. Okay, that's seriously fun and affordable, which I love. What about Rihanna? Okay, we gotta get that glow. Yeah. All you need to know is Fenty Skin Pre-Show Glow. So this is a chemical exfoliant. It's all about the ingredients. So alpha hydroxy acids or AHAs, and then vitamin C for brightening, Rubios for stressed out skin, and Barbados Cherry, which is actually a nod to Riri's Roots. This one only $40 for smoother, brighter skin. Guys, how great, Jennifer, dude? This is all at the top of her head. Okay, come <laughs> over here. Now, innovation and beauty. What yeah. are we going to say? Okay, so we are making big improvements on technology. So, first of all, we have a mascara from Neogen, and this is a bristleless mascara. How does that work? So, you know how we're really used to the traditional mascara tube with, like, you pull it out and you have a wand with all the bristles? Yes. No more. Neogen has a mascara that actually has a really thin metal tube, so you can have a really nice, precise, clean application, get into those hard to reach areas like the inner corners of your eye and your bottom lashes, and much cleaner. Wait, I gotta try this. Yeah. How did we come up with that? It's pretty crazy. Uh, what about for the brows? Okay, brows. We know about microblading. We're pretty familiar with that. Now we're gonna talk about nanoblading. This is the new trend, and it's a little spendy. It's an investment, but it's gonna last oh, you wow. three years. So the idea is that you have a handheld tattoo device. It's a really thin needle that lays semi-permanent pigment underneath your skin Whoa. so that you have very realistic looking hair-like strokes. Your brows are going to look thicker and fuller, and it's going to last for a couple of years. Those were gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, we heard there's a new perfume. Oh, my gosh. Are, are you ready it? for this? Tell me. World's first smart perfume. How? How? <laughs> the brand is called Minu, and it's coming out later this year in the spring. So what it is is it's AI-enhanced app that's actually electronically connected to your perfume bottle. There's three cartridges inside, and you can customize it just like you would your fancy coffee machine. Customize your fragrance to your mood, your occasion. There's so many combinations you can pick from. This is the future fragrance. Okay, that is seriously <laughs> cool. I wonder what moon I'm in. What am I going to smell like? Exactly. All right, I love what you said. What is old is new again. What do we have? Okay, do you remember the brand Fashion Fair? Yes. Back in the day, Fashion Fair was the premier cosmetics line for darker skin tones. Well, they're back. Thank goodness. They have revamped. They actually partnered with celebrity makeup artist Sam Fine and a dermatologist to reboot all their products, and the formulations are incredible. So Aretha Franklin used to be a big fan of this line. And now they have even more inclusive shades. Everything is about twenty to forty dollars, okay. so something for everyone. I need to tell you about the um, Skin Flex Foundation Stick. 
14 shades, feels great just like skin. There's also a press to setting powder. So this one is great because it actually prevents environmental damage, blue light damage from just looking at our phones and our monitors. So there's a lot of benefits to the products now. And they also have an iconic lipstick, which again is formulated for darker skin tones. It's gonna make your pout really pop. And then we also I love a pouty pop. <laughs> we love a pouty pop. And then we have a uh, fabulous face priming serum. This one does everything. It evens out your skin tone. It pumps, it hydrates, it gives you that perfect canvas so your makeup will go on smoother than ever. Oh, I love that. What about, is that the one from Ordinary? Yes, the Ordinary. So if you don't know about this brand, you need to know about it. I thought they went away or now we're back. You're right. This product actually was out of commission for two years and now it's back. So you want to snap this one up. It's got salicylic acid, which is great for acne prone or blemish prone skin. A little congestion, which we all probably are battling with right now. This one is amazing and you definitely want Want to put it on once a day at night before bed to keep you in the clear. All right, the last one, guys. The darker lip line. I wasn't <laughs> here in the 90s with it. You're telling me it's back, Jennifer. It's back. So in the 90s, you remember. Oh, yeah. All the celebrities were always wearing a really intense lip liner look. We had that chestnutty brown that was filled in with like a nude gloss or lipstick. It's back, and actually Megan Thee Stallion is going to show us how to do it. But you can use any combination of products that you want from your favorite brands. I have some combos here from NYX Cosmetics, but this trend is actually not as scary as it sounds. Okay. Promise me, just time to experiment with your look. There's a lot of fun to be had. Guys, can we have a round of applause for my friend Jennifer? <laughs> you are a wealth of information. That was fantastic. Thank you. For more beauty tips, follow Jennifer Chan on Instagram. Great job. Thank you. Up next, get ready. We're counting down our three favorite videos of the week.